Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create magnify effect in Filmora 12. Okay, so this is a question from one of my subscribers and you know that I always love to answer your question. Alright, so this is a simple way to create magnify effect in Filmora 12. And let's see the example. Alright, so as you can see at the example, we have three sections, right? And this is the first section. So we have a very simple magnify effect for this image. Okay, so we just scale it up with the crop effect. And for the second one, we have an animation keyframe for the crop image. Okay, something like this. And for the last one, it is a little bit more complicated with the image mask. Okay, for example, we have here an image and we have a mask that is a magnify effect from this position to this position and we need to keyframe the mask also and actually there is another solution in Filmora 12 with the magnify effect okay so if you want to use it it is a lot easier uh, in the effect tab and you want to go to video effect and then you can search for magnify or mac or something like that and you will see the magnify effect okay and this is the magnify effect and it is very easy to to add it to your video by the way you have to subscribe to film stock subscription plan which is around 95 us dollar per year and if you don't have the subscription you can follow my instruction okay so for example i can delete everything on the timeline and start the tutorial from the beginning all right so let's delete everything first so first thing you want to have an image or a video to use as a background okay so for this example i'm going to use my youtube studio as a background okay so this is my youtube studio and just drag and drop to the timeline okay and this is my image okay so you can see that it has a zoom effect in the image so let's drop to fit the image okay just right click here and select drop to fit and now we have a background image here and the next thing you want to do is to duplicate the image okay so you can just right click here and select copy and then you can highlight the track above it and press ctrl v to paste it okay and then we can move the second image to the beginning and the next thing we want to use the crop tools okay just select the second image or the timeline and then you want to click this option crop and now you want to crop to the area that you want to create magnify effect okay for example you can select the ratio here and change it to custom and then you want to click here and resize it to this side for example i want to create a magnify for this one and let's click apply okay and the next thing you can scale it down just click here and then you can just scale it down to this and put it right here or here it's up to you okay and the next thing you want to add a border effect to this one so all you need to do is to go to the effect tab and find the border and press enter okay so here's the border just drag and drop it to the second image just drag and drop it here and then you want to double click at the image and then select effect and now you can change the color of the border okay uh, for example i can change it to red at the beginning and also red at the end okay and let's click okay and now i can reduce the size of the border also okay just make it about two yeah i think two is okay okay and let's click okay and if you want to add an arrow or stuff like that, you can go to sticker and then find it, this one, doodle pack element number four. And this is the arrow. So all you need to do is to drag and drop it here. And then you can just resize it and rotate it and move it to here. Okay, I think it's okay now. And the next thing, you want to move the image and the arrow up one track okay 
and now we need to put a sample color here to darken the background image okay so all you need to do is to go to stock media and then find this one at the film stock folder solid color and you can use the black one just drag and drop it down here on the timeline okay and you want to double click at the sample color and then select image and now you want to find the compositing to reduce the opacity of the solid color okay so here's the compositing and this is the opacity so maybe you can reduce it to about 50 percent okay and you want to move this one to this side for example because when you're talking about something and then your magnify effect appear okay and you can also extend the background image also and shorten the arrow okay so here's the first way to create magnify effect in Filmora 12 that's easy right so the second way is to crop the image and scale it up uh, with the animation keyframe for example you can delete the arrow here and then you can add animation keyframe to this image okay so first thing you want to select this image on the timeline and then you want to add one keyframe so this is our second keyframe okay and we want to move the playhead to the beginning of the image and then we can add another keyframe all right so we are going to add a keyframe for the transform right here and then we can scale it down to this position and we can also adjust it to this position okay and scale it down to zero okay and here's the second way to create magnify effect in Filmora 12 so let's play the result very nice right and the last option to create magnify effect in Filmora 12 is to use the image mask okay so it is also very simple for example i can delete this keyframe delete this keyframe and i also delete the crop and border effect okay just delete the effect all right and the first thing you want to do is to scale up this image all you need to do is to double click at this image and then go to the image tab right here select basic and now you can adjust the scale of the image from here okay just slide it to the right maybe 50 percent so we can adjust it to 150 and then you want to click mask tab right here okay and you can use rectangle or you can use a circle mask it's up to you for example i can click this circle mask and then i can adjust the mask size okay just very small like this and then i can move my mask to this area okay okay and the, this is the first position of the mask I, I can now add a keyframe for it okay so for example i can click here to add one keyframe for my mask and then i can move my playhead to the next position for example here and then i can select the image mask here and move it to where i want to create magnify effect for example at this position okay and now we have two keyframe on our image and we can adjust the keyframe position if we want okay for example i can put the first keyframe here and it is the second keyframe and this is the third way to create magnify effect in Filmora 12 so let's play it very nice right so this is how to create magnify effect in Filmora 12 i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye